I'm Leslie McVeigh. Welcome to Portland Media Center's Member Highlights. Today we're out at beautiful Fort Gorgeous with the Friends of Fort Gorgeous and with the Portland Parks Conservancy who are looking at this as one of uh, the potential um, landmarks and park areas that they will work with. I'm with Roger Burley, who's the president of Friends of Fort Gorgeous. Hi, Roger. Hello, Leslie. Thank you for coming out here uh, as part of member highlights, because we are members of PMC. Yeah, but we like to come out here whenever we can. Um, so today you are bringing the Portland Parks Conservancy, which is a new organization. It's a, it's a sort of an arm of the city, and it is what it sounds like. They have, uh, they're charged with, uh, they're funded uh, independently, they're a nonprofit, and generously funded, and we're hoping that we will be one of the four, f we are one of the four finalists. Maybe, I don't know if we need to go to two or one to get significant support for the Conservancy, but they have money for us. And so they're looking at us versus three other parks. And um, today they're coming out here because uh, almost none of them have been here before. And so they need to see and feel and taste and touch uh, Fort Gorgeous. So what, what in particular do you want them to take away with them today and you want our viewers to know about? We want them to know that we as a friends group, all volunteer, all voluntary, uh, we are pushing ourselves uh, towards the city to be stewards of this fort. The city has a lot more important things perhaps to take care of, um, but uh, this is an iconic image that people standing on the shore of Portland, South Portland uh, Harbor, and we'll see this and say, oh, boy, what's that? I wish I could go there someday. Well, uh, here it is. Um, the problem is that the beauty is it's here. It's been here since 1858, and it's, and, it's, and it's available to the public, which is just absolutely an incredible benefit. It's easy to get here by canoe, kayak, small outboard boat. Um, we also have uh, brought tour people out here tour the tour boaters along the um, providers along the waterfront can bring people here anytime they want and they, they come but we would like to kind of um, gather all of the touring of Fort Gorgeous together to to raise friends uh, we collect their names and so we can communicate them with them by email uh, and then of course money comes into play we're a nonprofit this fort needs anywhere from fifty to a hundred thousand dollars a year so that it doesn't go backwards and can maybe with a little more money move forwards the fort itself has some serious structural problems we want to create awareness and we want to offer ourselves and our energies to the city so that we can help them take care of this unique asset. Well, and for those of us who are on the mainland looking out, it's probably one of the most romantic um, images we have when we look out to the harbor. And I think that there are so many people in the city w who would miss this structure if it was not preserved as a lovely park. Absolutely. And it, it would be criminal to let this go. It's been here for, what, 161 years or something like that, whatever the math is. And uh, it survived without much assistance for most of that time. But now it needs assistance. And we're, we're proposing ourselves uh, as stewards and, and advocates. Um, so, um, yeah, the, the, the 10 to $20 million that is required to really stabilize it for the next 250 years, um, that's not going to come from our efforts, but maybe we can get it out there. So, so it's a re really reasonable possibility. So people, if you've got 10 to 20 million, um, just write a check to Friends of Fort Gorgeous and we'll see what we can do to save this place. Or Thank you. Even if you have 10 to $20, <laughs> send it in, um, get on our mailing list and send it in to the Friends of Fort Gorgeous. And we can take ourselves to the city manager and the city council and, and say, here we are. We're, we're actually helping. Well, thank you so much, Roger. Yeah, thank you, uh, Leslie. Bye-bye. Well, I'm now with Nan Cumming, who is the exec the new executive director of the Portland Parks 
Conservancy. Hi, Nan. Yes. Hello. Yeah, it's nice to see you outside again. Oh, it's great to be here. It's a yeah. wonderful day. Now, why are you here with Friends of Fort Gorgeous today? Well, the Portland Parks Conservancy was recently formed just last year, and our mission is to support public parks and recreational projects in Portland. Um, so what's going on at Fort Gorgeous and the efforts of the Friends is of great interest to us. And we're very excited today to learn more. Many of the people here have never been here before. Fort Gorgeous is such a special place. It's so incredibly unique in the country, let alone in Portland, um, that it's something that we're very, very excited about. Well, we're excited about it too, and um, all of us in Portland who look at this every day are hoping that together everyone can work and and save this beautiful place. Yeah, it, it's certainly worth it for for residents and for for tourists who want to come to Maine and see something really special. Yeah. Well, thank you, and we look forward to seeing what you come up with with your organization. Great. Thank you so much. Well, I'm now with Paul Drynan. Hi, Paul, from Hi, Friends of Fort Gorgeous. It's great to see you again. Thank you so much for joining us here on the tour with the Portland Parks Conservancy. Yeah, what a fun tour. Are there are a lot of new things since I was last year. A few changes. Uh, everyone's happy to see the Army Corps improvements, and we're really close to getting our access project permit underway, which will allow us to bring larger vessels up alongside the Stone Wharf. We've got the Portland Parks Conservancy involved now, and we hope to have them helping us with funding for our preservation plan, which will quite literally put cribbing in and save the fort. Um, we've expanded our tours. We've contracted with the Fog Brothers on their new Fogcat vessel for 2019. So we'll be doing more tours this year. If you want a tour, just go to friendsoffortgorgeous.org and you can book a tour there. We also have an art benefit coming up called Fortitude at Arta in Falmouth on June 21. We've got 18 local artists all doing art that was inspired by Fort Gorgeous or Casco Bay. Well, we hate to leave the fort, but the tide is calling us, so we are, we'll be heading back to Portland now. Thank you. This is Leslie McVeigh for Portland Media Center.